What's up there, YouTube friends? Scrumpy Gamer Dad here. And this is episode number 12 of my miscellaneous mashups, my shelter at home quarantine video series. Uh, I take several items, sometimes pops, Legos, pins, sometimes all three, combine them together with the same theme. This theme is going to be Star Wars. So this one is going to feature uh, some new items new to you and then uh, actually a new to me item uh, it was my birthday last week and i got some presents one of the presents i got i will be showing at the end of the video here i'll start with some star wars pins these are never before seen yoda pins um, that i've had for a very long time like 2015 2014 something like that these are mostly open edition i believe so we're just going to take a quick look at these first up i've got this this is one of my favorite Yoda pins. Uh, I think I actually had this on the shirt at one point. I, I just like it because, it, you know, it's got Yoda there. He's got his little Mickey Mouse ice cream, his Mickey Mouse ears on, and he's looking at the ride sign, and you know there's just no hope for that. All right, here's a close look at that Yoda uh, pin. Again, you've got Yoda with his little ear hat. It's been embroidered with his name. It says, judge me by my size, do you? Uh, and then you've got the warning that says, you must be this tall to ride this ride. The next pin that I have here is kind of a mashup. In fact, this is kind of mashups of characters, Star Wars characters, Disney characters coming together. For some reason, uh, they felt that Stitch was a good choice for Yoda. And so this one is just a Stitch pin with him dressed up as Yoda holding a lightsaber. I like the blue background on it. And it just says, do or do not, there is no try. Again, that's an open edition. And then here's the first of the Stitch Yoda mashups, and it just has Stitch there. It says, do or do not, there is no try. This next open edition mashup pin, of course, features Stitch again, just as a wise older Yoda. The second of the Stitch mashups just has Stitch staying there as Yoda with the cane. Now, back in 2015, they had some mystery packs that they introduced, and it would have mashup characters, uh, and this is one of them. This is the last of the Stitch mashup characters. This one is Stitch, and it's just standing there again as Wise Yoda with his little quote. And then the final Stitch mashup pin, which just says, May the Force be with you. Now this last pin, again, 2015 mystery box release. Very small pin. Uh, it's not Stitch's Yoda this time. This was a Muppets and Star Wars mashup. And so this is one of the few that I still have. Uh, it's Rizzo as Yoda. Very, very small little pin. Finally, here's the last of those mashup pins. That's Rizzo from the Muppets, uh, dressed up as Yoda. That's how big the pin is. The lightsaber is actually longer than the pin itself. This is back when I was very, very new to pin trading. Didn't know about the collectability of them. Just collected what I liked, which was Yoda at that point. And I didn't even know about the, the craziness of, of, you know, pricing and all that other stuff, addition size, etc. This last item is a Lego set that was a gift from my friend Darkside Trader 13 and his wife for my birthday. They were nice enough to bring it over. Unfortunately, we couldn't hang out. Uh, so I'm going to put it together. This is uh, Obi-Wan's Hut. It is uh, Lego set number 75270 and 200 pieces of lego -y goodness. Let's take a look at this, shall we? Okay, so there are two bags to this set. So I have finished the build. It was uh, a fun build. Uh, it didn't take too, too long. Um, but it's Obi-Wan's hut. And it opens up and it's a little play set. And then it also came with four minifigures. It came with a Tusken Raider, complete with a gaffy stick, R2-D2, a young Luke Skywalker, and of course, Obi-Wan Kenobi, because, well, it's his crib. I'm, I'm just laughing because uh, the first thing you see is the door. You'll see why. All right, here's a closer look at those minifigures from the uh, Obi-Wan's Hut Lego set. And then here's Obi-Wan's hut itself. Uh, what I was laughing about was you've got this little keypad here 
so he can type in the code to his door, I guess, is a little ADT uh, intergalactic uh, security system. But the door is wide open, and there's just a big hole. There's no door. This is a playset, so it opens up, and then you get Obi Wan's crib inside. Uh, you got a little chair here and a little. I'm gonna say that's a blue milk container. Here's a holograph of Leia. I guess this is where uh, Obi Wan likes to entertain the ladies. I never imagined Obi-Wan Kenobi being the ladies' man, but with this pad, I'm sure they come uh, running. I'm assuming that's the Obi-Wan's shower here. Uh, obviously, it's a studio uh, hut. You got all kinds of weird gadgets that he's got collected here. And then over here, you've got this little box that opens up. And inside, you can assemble uh, Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber which doesn't look any different than any other lightsaber Legos, and a little Seeker droid. The parts from here come off, and you can attach it to the Seeker droid so that Luke can train to, I guess, use the Seeker droid, even though he didn't do that until he was safely on board the Millennium Falcon. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it was a fun video, I think, to f at least for me to film. I enjoy building Legos. It helps me relax, especially after work and and get some of the stress out and then um you were able to see some some very old yoda pins by very old i mean like five years ago <laughs> right after the disney uh star wars you know collaboration there the buyout of lucasfilm uh so that's all the time i've got like subscribe follow me on instagram at grumpy gamer dad uh, until next time this is grumpy gamer dad saying stick around for more legos Stick around for more Disney pins and um, stick around for Bad Dad Jokes non-themed edition after the end credits. Alright, so by doing the themes jokes on a couple episodes, I was able to save up some Bad Dad Jokes from the calendar. I'm not sure if that's any better or worse, but here we go. Why didn't the Earthling show up to the party on Venus? Bad atmosphere. How did the ball of yarn get a job at the gas station? She pulled some strings. Aww. Finally, how do trees access the internet? They log on. There you go. Have a good one.